Now this morning, a NASCAR legend died after crashing in a small single seat plane yesterday right near the Connecticut Rhode Island line. Yeah, we've learned that it was modified stock car great Michael Stefanik who was killed in that crash. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris joins us now with a closer look at what state police say happened there. Eva? Well, good morning to you both. Emergency crews rushed to the crash site in Sterling yesterday afternoon, and now many people are reacting to the news after learning it was Stefanik who was killed. He was 61 years old. This is the plane state police say NASCAR legend Michael Stefanik was in. A single engine, single seat, Aerolite 103. State police say he took off from Rikon Airport in Rhode Island, and then he started turning back around towards the airfield. That's when Stefanik crashed into a wooded area in Sterling. The 61-year-old suffered from serious injuries and burns and was flown to a nearby hospital. We later learned Stefanik passed away. The modified stock car great won nine NASCAR Series championships. Stefanik also won Rookie of the Year honors at age 41 and was a six-time nominee for the NASCAR Hall of Fame. NASCAR's chairman and CEO says Stefanik was one of the most successful drivers in NASCAR history. But even more so, he was a true representative of the sport. Coming up in our next half hour, a much closer look at his legacy. Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And